Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to share with you a great secret that was only known by the great seers and prophets and great mystics of the past, of the ages. And that is that you are living in a virtual reality, a high-tech simulated game that you created. And I'm going to break that down for you, exactly what you did and how you did that and how sophisticated you made it. That way when you entered the virtual reality or the 3D world that you're living in now, when you entered it, as soon as you entered it, your memory of anything before entering it would be would vanish. It wouldn't be present anymore. You wouldn't even remember when you entered this virtual reality and you designed it that way. That way it would be real to you. Because if you knew you had entered it, then you would know it wasn't real. And I'm going to explain some of that. I'm going to cover this in Neville Goddard's book, Destiny, from the Power of Awareness and give you my narration along with that. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. Let's go. Hey guys, let's go ahead and jump right into this. This is The Power of Awareness by Neville Goddard, but I'm going to explain to you a little bit more before we start exactly what we're living in. You are living in a virtual reality, a, a consciousness that was designed by you. You are the God of this consciousness. You are the I am that I am. You created this virtual reality and you did it with such high tech technology that when you created it, you designed it to where when you enter it, you don't remember anything that happened to you before you entered it. And you design it that way, but that way it would feel real to you. You It would feel really real to you because if you really think about it, the virtual realities that we have within this virtual reality, the ones that like Oculus Rift, and you put your goggles on, you, you remember putting your goggles on when you're inside the game. That's why you know that it's not real. But imagine that you didn't know that you put those goggles on. You would think that it was real. The world that you were living in, if you had no memory of anything before that, of putting the goggles on, then you would think it was real, just like the hologram that you're living in right now. And it's exactly what is happening and what you're living in right now. There's a lot more where that came from, guys, so stay tuned. Okay, this is The Power of Awareness by Neville Goddard. This is Chapter 27, Reverence, where he covers this. Never wouldst thou have made anything if thou has not loved it. So this is about you creating your virtual reality because you loved yourself. You created this world and erased your and designed it to where when you entered it, your memory would be erased because you wanted to create this simulation. You wanted to create a reality that was real. And you, that's exactly what you did, but you did it because you loved yourself. So that's got to feel, you got to feel really, really good about that. Like that's just like put you in a state of awe that you love yourself that much to where you would create this reality for yourself and then erase your own memory of it that you created it. Okay, so in all creation, in all eternity, in all the realms of your infinite being, the most wonderful fact is that which is stressed in the first chapter of this book. You are God. You are the I am that I am. You are consciousness. You are the creator. This is the mystery. This is the great secret known by the seers, prophets, and mystics throughout the ages. All the greats knew this. They knew exactly what I'm saying in this video about living in a virtual reality and having your memory erased from it. This is a truth that you can never know intellectually because you designed it that way. Okay, so who, who is this you? That is you, John Jones or Mary Smith is absurd. It is the consciousness which knows that you are John Jones or Mary Smith. So your awareness of consciousness itself, it is the greater self, your deeper self, your infinite being. Call it what you will. The important thing is that it is within you. It is you. It is your world. Okay, so it is the fact that underlies the immutable or unchangeable law of assumption. It is upon this fact that your very existence is built. It is this fact that is the foundation of every chapter of this book. And this is The Power of Awareness, which is the best book ever written, in my opinion. Even by Neville Goddard, his best book. No, you cannot know this intellectually. You cannot debate it. You cannot substantiate it. You can only feel it. Okay, so you can only be aware of it. Becoming aware of it as one great emotion permeates your being. You live with a perpetual feeling when you know of this with reverence, okay? Knowing that you are the creator, the sole creator of your world and you erase your memory of it, that way it would feel real to you because the world you're living in is a is a hologram. It's a 3D, it's a virtual reality, high-tech simulated game that you're living in. So knowing that you created that it has to fill you with perpetual feeling of reverence. The knowledge that your, that your creator is the very self of yourself and never would have you made it had you not loved yourself. 
You never would have made this for yourself had you not loved yourself. That must fill your heart with devotion. Yes, with adoration. One knowing glimpse of the world about you at any single instance of time is sufficient to fill you with profound awe and a feeling of worship. It is when your feeling of reverence is most intense that you are closest to God, closest to your true self. And when you are closest to God, your life is richest. So once you understand this and you know this, that you design this virtual reality that we're living in for happiness, you created this to be happy. So if you're not happy right now, that's not why you created this. So you're not living the the world that you created for yourself. The world that you created for yourself was to be happy for the appeasement of loneliness, to ha- communicate, to love, to to give, to get, to have anything that you wanted, just to enjoy life, to enjoy it. You create it to, to enjoy it. Our deepest feelings are precisely those we are least able to express. And even in the fact of adoration, Silence is our highest praise. Meditation is our highest praise. All right, guys, I'm going to give you a recap, then we're going to end this video, but this is very important. You are consciousness. You are the creator. This is the mystery. This is the mystery. This is the great secret known by the seers, the prophets, and the mystics throughout the ages that you created this reality. This is a virtual reality. This is a hologram that you're living in that you designed to enjoy yourself to be happy, to communicate, to have a family, to have dogs, have cats, have boats, have cars, have nice houses, have a career, have a meaningful life to enjoy. You created it with such a high level of technology that you actually designed it to where when you entered it, your memory of anything before it was erased. So you would feel that it was real, so that you designed it so that it would feel real when you entered it. Because if you could remember anything before entering the consciousness, then you would know that it wasn't real. So the purpose of all this, the reason why I am informing you of that you are God, that you are the creator, and you designed all of this, that way you understand, you know how to create with imagination. And when you know that you're living in a virtual reality, creating things becomes much easier. When you know what consciousness is, and that's why I'm trying to break down these different steps with you, that way you understand exactly what consciousness is, that it's a virtual reality, it's not real. You entered it, you erased your memory of it, you are living in a virtual reality that you can create with imagination. And when you can get to that high level of understanding down inside your core, burn that down inside your core and understand what consciousness is, then you can change your conception of yourself instantly. Then you can manifest out of thin air. Then you can defy all the laws. Okay, so all the laws that are governing you into a balance. You can create a life that you want, the life of your dreams that way so i wanted to share that with you guys and we're going to break this down even further i'm going to go into more detail with this guys but leave me your feedback on i want to know in the column box below guys what you guys think about this what are your thoughts on this do you enjoy this topic and i'll get more into it but anyways i love you guys and also give me one thing you guys are thankful for or grateful for in the column box below i'll see you guys tomorrow